Hello. Another weekend, another area of low pressure. This one has been named Storm Anthony because the impacts are expected to be a step above previous lows we've seen in the last few weeks, most notably because it's occurring during a busy Saturday right at the peak of the holiday period in the UK, and it's expected to bring heavy rain, strong winds, and the risk of gales to western and southern parts of the UK. Initially, it's the rain that is arriving ahead of Storm Anthony, and that rain sets in during the evening on Friday across Northern Ireland, heading into western Scotland, western fringes of uh, England and Wales as well. But it's really after midnight that the particularly heavy rain arrives into Northern Ireland, and Northern Ireland, having seen its wettest July on record, is most prone to impacts from that heavy rain. In parts of Northern Ireland, we could see 30, 40 millimetres falling in a few hours. And overall, through the night and into the start of Saturday, 30 millimetres is expected widely. 60, 70 millimetres, not out of question in some exposed spots, particularly for southern parts of Northern Ireland. So risk of localised flooding, a yellow warning in force. The rain also spreading by this stage into western parts of England, Wales and Scotland. Showers continuing for the north and east of Scotland, one or two for northeast England, otherwise drier towards the east and the far north of the UK. But uh, this is how it's looking for Northern Ireland. Uh, warning in force, apart from the far north of Northern Ireland, because of that heavy and prolonged rainfall, 70 millimetres possibly over the Mourne Mountains could cause impacts as we're waking up on Saturday. It's not going to be a cold start to Saturday, certainly temperatures staying at 13 or 14 Celsius because of the arrival of the cloud, the rain and the wind. Then on Saturday morning, really it's a washout across much of England, Wales, southern Scotland, Northern Ireland. The rain does clear early on from Northern Ireland replaced by showers and really it's a showery picture for much of the day for Scotland those showers really getting going across central and western parts in the afternoon but it's across England and Wales where the heavy and persistent rain will be most likely and across central parts of England there's the risk of some intense thunderstorms breaking out during the afternoon as well that will need keeping an eye on but it's after the wettest conditions clear from Wales and the southwest by the afternoon as the skies brighten that the strongest winds will arrive through Irish Sea coasts and then into South Wales, South West and Southern England. So warning has been issued for this part of the world. We're looking at widely inland 40 mile per hour gusts, exposed parts inland 55 mile per hour wind gusts and around some exposed coasts of West Wales and South West England 60 five mile per hour wind gusts. Now these kinds of wind gusts wouldn't necessarily warrant a named storm in February for example but this is a Saturday in August and it's in a part of the UK where a lot of people are visiting, camping, caravanning, going to the beaches and as a result these kinds of winds are likely to cause more impacts compared with a different time of year and uh, it's worth heeding messages of advice, paying attention to the forecast because of these winds, particularly if you're camping or if you're heading to the coast. Large waves also warrant a mention. And the heavy rain as well, that's going to cause some impacts on the roads, I suspect, through the central and northern parts of the UK as we go into Saturday afternoon, even if these areas aren't covered by a warning. Heavy showers continue for northern parts of the UK and western areas into Saturday night. The more persistent wet weather further east eventually eases away by the start of Sat Sunday. Likewise, the strongest of the winds will pull away. Then we've got clear skies returning for many by Sunday morning. A cool uh, start to the day with temperatures in single figures in places, but Sunday certainly is looking much calmer. We've got Storm Anthony moving into the continent, actually pretty strong winds expected across much of the continent uh, through Sunday and the start of next week. But for the UK, uh, northwest of the airflow, and that will bring a return to sunny spells and showers. So although there'll still be some heavy downpours about on Sunday, it won't be as persistent and there'll be a better chance of seeing some sunny spells in between, particularly around coastal areas and in that sunshine, it will feel a little warmer, even if temperatures are still going to be below average for the time of year. Now, there will still be a few showers about as we go into the start of next week and a lot of cloud cover. But through next week, there's a decent signal now that higher pressure will become more influential. That means longer, drier periods, warmer weather, albeit not with weeks and weeks of hot sunshine. Bye-bye.